Hi, this is Jill coming to you this evening to do a plan with me in my micro uh, planner. My micro is what I use um, as my wallet and I carry it with me in my purse. So I have this insert that is from 1407 Planners um, and I just covered the front with some scrapbook paper, some washi and a few stickers. Um, but it is a daily insert so you have a day um, on each page and then it has a to-do list at the bottom and it's just a dot grid um, for the planner part um, and I think what I'm going to do this week is use my stamps uh, to stamp in this I used stickers last week and that went fine um, but you don't have a whole lot of room in a micro so I'm going to see if stamping maybe um, goes a little bit better than using the stickers. Let me just move some things off of my desk. <clears throat> so I've pulled out the stamps that I think I'm going to use, and I am going to use just strictly black ink, and this is the VersaFine pigment ink. Um, I find that this ink is one of the best to use um, for stamping itself. And... I will need one of my stamp blocks, and I have, whoops, that's not the one I need. We have this oblong one that's got scalloped edges. Um, that one's nice to use, it's nice and thick. Um, and then I do have this one that's a small square box. Um, this one, the scalloped one does have, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it does have uh, like guidelines on it so it's easy to see and make sure you're lining things up um, but I think those will work fine for this week so um, what we're gonna do first is I've already dated my pages and I've just pulled out um, a few of my stamps that have the stamps that I think I want to use on them. So to begin with, we're gonna use these from, whoops, sorry, Agenda 52, um, the Paper Studio, and these are the Essentials Planner Stamp Set. And what I'm going to use on this one is the coffee cup because I start out my Mondays with a coffee cup. <clears throat> Actually, coffee is a big part of my whole week, every day of the week. And we're just going to stick that on there. And I like to prime my stamps by rubbing them on the back of my hand if I can. Um, that just helps the ink. Uh, adhere better and it leaves a clearer stamp when you actually do the stamping. So we're going to apply even pressure. I don't want to rock it. And you can see how that left a wonderful image on there. And to clean my stamps I use just a normal baby wipe and just gently wipe it and that takes the ink off and then we can put our stamp back on the stamp pad or back on the thing that it belongs on. Now I do also have two bills that I need to pay on Monday so I think there was a bill due stamp in this um, Happy Planner stamps. And this is the one that has um, menu, meals, and just some icons, vacation, grocery list. Oh, there's a coffee cup on that one too. Should have used that one. Oh well. Um, and I'm going to use this pay bill stamp down here. And then maybe one of the 
um, little icon, the asterisk, or the star, and we'll, that will notate each of the bills that I have to pay. And you want to be sure you don't accidentally stick your finger in the ink because you will make a mess. Which it's very easy for me to do is make a mess. <clears throat> I love to to stamp. Um, I don't do it that often. I have been doing it more um, recently. I love to watch uh, my favorite person to watch stamp in her planners is Jenny McGarvey. You can find her on YouTube. Um, and she just does an awesome job of stamping in. I love how she, uh, you know, explains what she's doing, why she's doing it. Um, I love to see the stamps that she uses and how she just makes it all, you know, work in her planner. Um, sometimes she does just strictly stamps and sometimes she combines them and does stamping and stickers. So it's fun to watch somebody do that and give you ideas of how you can do it. It's, um, I find it fun to play with, you know, stamps and ink and, uh, just something different than using stickers all the time. I'm going to place that one right there for the first bill. Now see it, it's got a little bit of a white spot there and I could go back in and re-stamp it but I'm not very good at that. Usually I end up making a mess when I do that so I'm just going to leave it and it will be the character now that one I will try to go back in and I didn't press down on the bottom. So there. That is the one thing about stamps and is you, they can be messy if you, you know, get too much ink on there or you accidentally get some on your hands and you put your hands on your pages. You know, sometimes it can get a little, a little messy, but it's also fun. Um, and I think, I don't think I have any to-dos for Monday, so I'm actually going to cover up uh, the to-do list with some washi. And I think I'm going to write, white it out first and use my white out runner to white those out just because the washi that I'm going to use is a little bit see-through and if I don't wipe this out you will see it coming through the washi so I'll just wipe all of this out that we don't need to see don't need to use and I'm going to use this washi I think I got this from Joann's um, in their little bins that they have where they usually have like the Miss is it Miss Sparkle Com Sparkle and Company stuff. It's usually very reasonably priced. You can usually get washi for like two rolls of it for a dollar ninety nine. But I'm I'm pretty sure I got this there at Joann's, and I just I love the animals on it. It's a nice fall kind of washi and we'll just put that on the bottom there just to use something different and it's not as wide as I was hoping so I might go back in with maybe this gold on top of that just to give it a little bit of sparkle A little bit of shine. It's a Saturday night, and normally I would do all of this on a, on Sunday, 
but my Sunday tomorrow is gonna be very busy um, I have a date with one of my friends to go meet for coffee in the morning and do some photography at the local botanical gardens and then in the evening my <clears throat> nephew's wife is going to be induced with her baby so I want it to be at the hospital for that um, let's see on Tuesday Tuesday is trash day and I know I have a trash day sticker or I'm sorry a trash day stamp and it is also an agenda 52 stamp and this is the small words and icons planner stamp set and we are going to use this little trash can right here <clears throat> and again we're going to prime it just to get it a little bit roughed up I guess is what it does but it makes the ink stick to it better if that's if that makes sense and I'm not putting a huge amount of ink on here I mean, you want enough that it's going to cover the stamp, but you don't want too much where when you press on it, it's going to squish out around the edges. So that stamped beautifully. And oh, I guess we should go ahead and do it for Friday too, because Friday is the other trash day. So let me go ahead and stamp that on Friday. And on Friday, I'm going to do it on this side. And I don't think I got enough ink on that one. So if you have not tried stamping in your planners, I would, you know, highly recommend trying it. Um, you do need to be careful, you know, make sure your pages are uh, thick enough that it doesn't bleed through. Most of the... Um, 1407 planners inserts are done on, on thick paper um, so you can see there's a little bit of ghosting but not not anything that would you know make it where you wouldn't want to do that in here um, the other thing I have going on Tuesday is I have a photography club meeting and that is a club that I actually lead out. So I need a box or something. These are some Heidi Swap stamps. And I think I got these at Tuesday morning for $2.99. Um, normally, if you get them like at Joann's or something like that. They're, you know, four ninety nine or even six ninety nine. Um, trying to think what I want to use. I think I'll use this special event stamp. Now her stamps are, you can tell they're a little bit flimsy maybe um, they're not as thick as some of the other stamps that I have so like when I go to prime them on my hand they do tend to peel up or roll a little bit but we're gonna try try to use this make sure we've got enough on there and I'm going to put it, oops, now you can see I accidentally touched the page, so we're going to go ahead and put the stamp there whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> that kind of decided that factor. 
So it's a little bit off, but that's okay. And then I'd also like to put a camera on there since it is a camera club. And I'm gonna use this other package of stamps from Heidi Swap, and I think I did get this one at Joann's, um, but I think I used a 40% off coupon on it. So. <clears throat> she has this cute little camera up here at the top. So we're gonna put that on our stamp pad. And we're gonna prime it. I have not used these stamps yet. This is the first time I've used them. So we're just gonna prime it a little bit, get some ink on it. Maybe a little more ink. And I'm just going to put that right up here in the corner. Just a little bit of firm, even pressure. And I'm going to leave it on the stamp pad because I actually have another photography club or another photography outing on Wednesday night, so I will probably use that again. Um, and I don't think I have any to-dos for Tuesday either. So we're going to go ahead and white out this one. And then we'll use some washi to cover it up. I like um, 1407 Planners inserts. Their quality is amazing. Um, I'm going to use this washi, and I believe I got this one from Hobby Lobby. I'm sure it's a paper studio washi that probably came on a roll of two. But in my TNs, I like to use the 1407 planners inserts. I do use a few that are printables that I get from like uh, Annie Plans printables or Jacenia printables. Um, but the 1407 planners, I just love the quality of their of their stuff. I'm going to use the gold washi again on top of that one. It does have gold accents on the flower washi, so this will go well with it. Okay. And on Wednesday, like I said, I have another photography outing. And this one is um, a class. So let me see what we have. And I'll put these stamps back up. I'll stick them back over there. So let me see what stamps I have that we can use for that. Um. see anything like I'm wanting. And I know I have some Some box stamps that are from Studio LTE. But they're just not plain boxes. Let 
maybe we can use one of these. <coughs> these are from Studio L2E. They're a bow stamp. And I'm hoping, yes, that this, now this one I'm going to have to use the bigger stamp block. I can find where I put it because this one is a bigger stamp. I love the quality of Studio L2E's stamps. They are a nice thick rubber acrylic stamp. Um, you usually don't even have to prime them as I'm doing now. I do prime them just out of habit. Um, but they stamp beautifully. They take the ink well and um, they just leave a very nice, crisp um, image. And I'm going to start, I'm going to put it right there. And I have been very happy with the stamps that I have purchased from them. One of these days I'll have to add to my add to my stash that I have. They do have some cute stamps too. You can see these are bows and boxes. Boxes and bows. our little camera ready and I'm just going to put this right here in the corner on this side and then I can write what that is for that day <clears throat> I think I will put my camera back on the Heidi Swap. And put it back in the clear package. And I'll put the Studio L2Es away. And again, I think I'm going to go ahead and cover the to-do list. I could, um, you know, put some stickers down there or cover it up some other way, but washi is just the easiest thing to do right now instead of trying to find stickers or something to cover it up. I'm going to do the gold on the bottom this time. And if you're wondering about my washi cutting tool, it is just a Walmart reloadable gift card. I find that that works pretty well for the most part. I think I'm going to use this washi here that's got some fall leaves on it and it looks like a cutout of some a tree trunk. Um, if I do have issues trying to cut something then I do have a e-slice tool that works very well too. Um, but for the most part the gift card does a good job. Sometimes the washi can be a little hard to, do, to work with in that respect, but it pretty much is okay. Okay, now Thursday I don't have anything going on. Um, so what I think I'm going to do <clears throat> is 
is I'm going to use this checklist from Studio L2E that has the bows on it. And I'm going to have to use the bigger block. And again, we're just going to prime it, rubbing it on the back of our hand. And then we'll stamp the ink on there. And I'm going to do this about halfway down. And just some even pressure. So we have a little to-do list. Although we have a to-do list at the bottom, I guess we don't really need the to-do list at the top, but we can cover up the one on the bottom. So we'll put this away. And... I'm going to use this sticker on here that says get it done. This is off the Agenda 52 Paper Studio stamps for the Essentials Planner stamp. Some even pressure. This is from Joann's, the Miss Sparkle and Company stamp set. It's $1.99. You get several stamps on there that you can use. I think I'm going to use this flower one and put it down here in the corner just to add something to this page. Make it a little more decorative. No, I didn't prime this one, if you saw that. Um, I have used it before, but hopefully it will stamp okay without priming it. And we're even going to go right to the edge, I think. Now, because it's a big stamp, I want to be sure I'm pressing on all the... didn't press right there in the middle so it's not as pretty as I would like it but it's what happens when you don't press uh, evenly so that's something that comes with practice and with doing it more I'm going to use this little curly cue looking thing and put that over on the on Wednesdays. I'm going to do it right here at the top. Just to give it a little decoration.
This is another one of the Miss Sparkle and Company. Again, it was $1.99 at Joann's. Um, it has some flowers on there, some fall items. Oh, you know what? I have these leaves. I forgot all about them. So why don't we use some of those? Leaves and pumpkins. I'm going to use this big one that looks like a maple leaf right here. I'll put it on our big stamp block. This one I am going to prime. I have used this one before. Um, but it, is, it does always help to prime your stamps each time you use them. And I'm just going to Press with even pressure. Now that does take up a lot of room, but you still have a little bit of room there that you can uh, write some things down if you need to. I think I'm going to use this pumpkin too. that on Monday or maybe maybe we'll put it on maybe we'll put it on Friday sure you get enough ink on here but just not too too much you want it well covered but you don't want so much on there that it squishes out and you need to try not to rock as I just did but it didn't do any damage so we're lucky there um, now Friday I do have three bills that are in. So we're going to use the Bill Do sticker again, if I can find it. For pay, pay bill, I guess is what I used. Um, it real fast. I'm going to put this up here at the very top. And I'm not having a good night stamping tonight. perfectly every time. I think you're gonna have those days where it just doesn't want to work right. So we got one two And 
three. And the other thing you want to be careful with when you're working with stamps is that you don't drop them. I dropped one several weeks ago and I still haven't found it. So, um, and I am going to leave my to-do list here because I do have some things I need to be sure get done. I'm going to white out the to-do list on Thursday because I don't think I will need that one. And we will cover it with some washi. about if we use oh my favorite washi I'm gonna be so sad when I don't have this one anymore I think I got this one at Joann's last year and I just love the gold foil on it the leaves um, it's a very beautiful beautiful fall washi and I have not seen it since I bought it last year so when it's gone I am going to be very sad and we're going to use this plaid looking washi to go with it it's a very fall plaid washi And like I said, I am going to use my to-do list on Friday. Saturday, we are traveling to San Antonio for a wedding. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, so I'm going to use these. Uh, Studio L2E stickers that are from the 1407 planners for their travel and I'm going to stamp this sentiment up here that says let's find some beautiful place to get lost San Antonio is one of my favorite places to go it's about two and a half hours from our home, so we will be driving. Um, my husband's niece is getting married on Sunday, Sunday afternoon, so we're gonna go up Saturday, and a lot of the family is gonna be staying at the same hotel. Um, so it will be nice to spend some time with family that we don't usually get to see and get ready for that event on Sunday. I just love Studio L2E stamps. I can't say enough about them. They stamp beautifully. So we stamped that. And then I'm going to use the Fiona stamp with the little, what do you call it, little pin that shows where you are. I don't know what you call that thing. on that one now that one didn't stamp beautifully but that was my fault 
I don't think I got enough ink on the stamp, but we'll press it a little bit more. And it's not perfect, but it'll be okay. And we'll just write in there where we are going. Put that back on there. And then I don't think I need my to-do list for Saturday. You know what? Let me try something real fast. Somebody had said that you can sometimes erase ink. I think you have to have a special eraser though, and I don't have one of those. So neither one of my erasers are getting the ink off, but oh well. We'll just have an ink spot right there. And that's how you will know that somebody hand stamped this decoration because they didn't do a very good job. Uh, I'm going to use this washi, these two washies together. This is from the paper studio. Uh, it's called Floral Friends. And I got this at Hobby Lobby a couple weeks ago when they were having a sale on their paper studio. items and I think we're going to use the one with the animals on it on top and then we'll put the stripes on the bottom so this has some a raccoon a bunny looks like a fox maybe all with flowers in their hair. And then we'll put the stripe one underneath it. The fun part of washi is always trying to find where the end is. Sometimes it feels like I go round and round and round on a roll and have a hard time finding that end. So there we go with that. And then on Sunday, is like I said my niece's wedding so I have these from Miss Sparkle and Company um, love stamps from Joann's and we are going to use several of these I think I think going to start with these hearts. Put them on the big stick block. And we're just going to prime them. Now these are another one that Kind of roll sometimes you just gotta we're gonna put this right here on this side give it some nice pressure look at that Wonderful. And 
then I think I'm going to use this bow. make like a little balance I guess on the top there and put that down And this one, I think I am going to go ahead and write in um, what is going on. I'm going to use my Tombow pen and that on there and then I think we will put this little X's and O's where should we put the maybe we'll put the bow on there again just do it the opposite direction. And I'm going to leave my to-do list because I will need to be sure I bring everything I need to the wedding like my camera and and then I'm trying to think if I should put maybe some hearts bigger hearts down the center there like a little a little um, oh I think that's gonna be too big well I don't want to waste the ink whoops so I think I'll put it over here on Saturday. Is there a smaller heart on there? I don't think so. So let me look. I think I have a smaller heart on one of these other ones. This Heidi Swap one, there's a small heart. So let's see. Whoops. 
that's the thing about these that don't aren't as thick as some of the other ones they don't when you try to prime them they roll around and fall off so you need to be careful with those that's how I lost that one from a couple weeks ago is it just rolled off when I was trying to prime it so we're gonna put one there ink again and we'll put one here and then we'll ink it again we'll put one here and then we'll ink it again we'll put one here just have like a dancing waterfall of hearts And then maybe we can put one right over here. And there you go. I think that will do it for this week. So we have plenty of room to do mark what we need to mark down and um, some decorative stamps some that didn't come out as nicely as other ones but such is life so I think that will be it for this week I hope you enjoyed this plan with me uh, if you liked this plan with me please leave uh, a like down at the bottom and leave me a comment if you'd like to do so I look forward to hearing from each of you, and uh, I enjoy hearing your comments. If you have any suggestions, or um, if there's anything you'd like to see that I haven't done yet, um, you know, please leave me your su suggestions if you have um, any ideas that you'd like uh, for future Plan With Me's, please let me know. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, you can press the subscribe button and uh, you can also hit the notification button if you'd like to be notified when I upload anything new. I do try to upload several um, videos a week, so if you like what you see and you'd like to return, please, I look forward to spending some more time with you. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a pleasant evening and a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next time. Good night.